What is up you guys? Welcome back to another one. If you are new to the channel, I am Go Pony. Yet today, we are in the new 2020 Kia Forte GT, courtesy of Fred Beans Kia in Mechanicsburg, PA. For more information on their inventory, please feel free to check out the link in the description box below. And so, I'm in this one today, quite honestly, because Kia has been killing it lately. For example, you have the Motor Trend SUV of the year being the Kia Telluride. You have the Business Insider Car of the Year being the Kia Stinger. And so the one we are in today being the Forte GT, this is the competitor for the Honda Civic S and having already reviewed the SI, I am quite excited to be in this one today. So what do you say? Let's just go ahead and jump right into it. And as always, let's start with pricing. And so pricing for the 2020 Kia Forte GT will start at $22,290. If you went with the GT manual, the one we have today, that is going to start at $22,890. And there is a ton of value here. Reason being is because if you compare that to the Civic SI, Civic SI is actually going to set you back $25,000. So this is essentially being the competitor again for thousands less really. So then when it comes to the power plant on this one, powering this little beast will be a 1.6 liter turbocharged inline four cylinder, putting out 201 horsepower at 6,000 RPM, 195 pound feet of torque available from the power band of 1,500 to 4,500 RPM. That power being sent to the front wheels through your choice of either a six speed manual or a seven speed dual clutch with paddle shifters. So that is definitely gonna be pretty cool if you go that route. Zero to 60 time is gonna come in at approximately 6.7 seconds with MPG numbers coming in at 27 in the city, 35 highway for the dual clutch, 25 city, 32 highway for the six speed. And either way, it takes regular unleaded fuel, AKA 87 octane. So that's gonna save you a little bit of money there too. But before we do any kind of accelerations in the Forte GT, I did wanna mention there is a sport driving mode directly to the left of the shifter there. And so that is going to adjust things like the shift points the throttle response and the steering sensitivity. So I did just put it in that sport driving mode and the throttle sensitivity I can tell has been adjusted. It's gonna give you a little touchier throttle response, a little better acceleration there. So that is definitely a plus in my book. But now I think you guys know what time it is. Let's go ahead and do a quick little acceleration. I kind of want to really try out the six speed as well. See how nicely it shifts through the gears, I guess you could say. So let's go ahead and find a straightaway end. Let's see how quickly we can get this new 2020 Kia Forte GT here up to speed. All right, you guys, and there we go. Wow. Pulling hard, son. <laughs> Dang, that was fun. Gotta say, even the clutch feel, that was perfect. I absolutely love rowing through my own gears once again. Certainly no issues with finding the grab points. It also kind of tells you when you're supposed to shift. Up on the digital portion of the gauges here, although you don't really need it, honestly, but... <laughs> It's still, it's kind of cool that it's there, but acceleration wise, that was a blast. Definitely pulling plenty hard in this thing. The only thing I will say about the six speed manual when it comes to the shifter, at least, is I kind of feel like it's kind of like it's a DCT shifter just thrown into a six speed manual because the button to actually put it in reverse is just below the shifter. So it's kind of like it's a traditional automatic shifter really, or a DCT shifter. So that's probably the only thing I would change if I were Kia, I would make it into more of a, a ball type shifter perhaps. And then to put it in reverse, you're gonna have to lift up underneath the shifter or press down or something like that, rather than having it more of like a automatic transmission type of shifter. But other than that, the clutch feel the six speed manual it definitely works very well so absolutely no issues there but to go along with that acceleration as always braking is equally important and so up front you will find 12 inch ventilated front discs in the back 10.3 inch solid rear discs as far as the braking feel goes it's been perfectly fine for me in my short test drive today so that is certainly on point touching on suspension and handling up front you're going to get an independent McPherson strut front suspension in the back independent multi-link rear suspension as far as ride quality goes it's been perfectly fine and actually as i am coming up to some railroad tracks let's test it out here it's pretty much as expected it's right on par for the course as far as the compact car segment goes so definitely no issues with ride quality it's as expected as far as steering feel goes that is probably my favorite part about the four day gt it is a much heavier steering feel than I expected. I gotta be quite honest. So instantly points you in the direction that you wanna go, especially in that sport driving mode, because again, putting it in sport driving mode is going to adjust the steering sensitivity. So that is pretty cool that that's there. As far as cabin noise goes, really what you get is the engine noise, which is a good thing. I actually do like hearing the engine noise coming into the cabin there. 
but other than that there's not a whole lot of exterior wind noises coming into the cabin and it's pretty darn windy today to be quite honest so that is definitely a huge plus in my book as well and then touching on visibility we are in a sedan you can see perfectly fine out the back so absolutely no issues there either but that about rounds out the performance segment of this review. Let's now go ahead and take a look at the exterior of this brand new 2020 Kia Forte GT. All right, you guys, so here she is, the 2020 Kia Forte GT finished in a fire orange exterior, in case you were curious. But let's go ahead and start up front here. Gloss black front grille with red accents. You guys can see that will come standard along with the GT lettering in the upper portion of the driver's side front grille there. To the sides, LED headlights with auto leveling, actually. So honestly, I'm quite surprised to see auto leveling headlights at this price point. So well done, Kia, for that. LED daytime running lights also coming standard just below you do have fog lights and a gloss black front lip which is definitely going to tie in well with the exterior gloss black accents as i mentioned throughout the exterior of this forte gt and make our way to the side on this one gloss black side skirts once again with that gloss black theme black window surrounds gloss black side mirrors and they are body colored power adjustable side mirrors that are heated as well with LED integrated turn signals. So really everything you could want inside mirrors at least. Also worth noting, I thought this is pretty cool, perimeter approach lights found from within the door handles. You're not gonna be able to see that right now because it is a bright sunny day here in PA, but at night that is gonna look awesome as well. Taking a look down at the wheel setup, 18 inch multi-spoke alloy wheels coming standard and they definitely look good on this one, a very aggressive look. But now let's go ahead and make our way to the back. Continuing on with those gloss black Black accents. You do have a gloss black shark fin antenna up top, gloss black rear spoiler, LED taillights actually coming standard on the Forte GT as well. That's definitely a huge plus. And you do have a gloss black rear diffuser near the bottom there. And just below it all, dual exhaust outlets with brushed silver tips. And by the way, this is a GT specific exhaust system. So I am quite excited to hear how this is going to turn out. As always, you guys, you know what's coming next. Here is that exhaust clip. So, but now since we are round back, when it comes to opening that rear trunk, there actually is a button on the key fob. You can simply press that if you like. Also, a button on the trunk itself, and there is a button on the driver's side floor as well. So, three different ways you can go about opening that rear trunk. But once opened up, cargo capacity is going to come in at 15.3 cubic feet, which you got to be honest, it's a good bit for a compact car. If that was not enough space though, there is a 60-40 split, meaning the rear seats do fold down for quite a bit of extra space there if you needed it. Then make our way up to the rear legroom. That is going to come in at 35.7 inches. So for reference, I'm at even six feet tall. This is how much space I have back there. Do want to mention for those rear passengers, there is rear ventilation as well so they can stay comfortable and a rear center armrest with cup holders as well. They make our way to the front seats, 10-way power adjustable driver's seat with power lumbar will come standard. Seating will come with a cloth finish with the GT logo and red stitching. GT logo coming towards the top of the seating there. Now we'll say these are probably the most comfortable seats I have tested today. And I tested two luxury cars before this. So very extremely comfortable seats in the Forte GT. So well done Kia for that. And there are available heated front seats actually as well for the Forte GT. But now let's go ahead and make our way to the steering wheel it is tilt and telescoping it is leather wrapped with red stitching and i love the perforated left and right sides it's just like the audi s4 i just recently reviewed honestly it's almost the exact steering wheel as that audi s4 it's got the flat bottom gt lettering at the bottom it is a very high-end steering wheel to be quite honest 10 and 2 grips are just fine and i just can't get over how almost identical this steering wheel is to the audi s4 but nonetheless let's now make our way to the startup let me first start by introducing you guys to the key here and you probably are familiar with it if you have seen my kia stinger gt review you do have your kia logo on the one side and all of your buttons are actually going to be located on the side you got live 
lock, unlock, the button to pop the rear hatch, and the lock button is a very comfortable position for your thumb at the top there. So it is a pretty cool looking key actually, so I'm digging it, but it is actually all keyless entry. So all I'm going to do is simply just put my foot on the braking clutch and press that engine start button located just by the driver's right knee there. Let's open then what's started up. Tachometer is on your left, speedometer is on your right. There is a decently sized digital display front and center. To control what is on that digital display, there are steering wheel mounted controls on the right side to do that. It's gonna give you things like your outside temperature, a digital speedometer if you wanted it, trip A, trip B, average miles per gallon. There's some safety information when you need your next oil change and the list goes on quite honestly. So a good bit of stuff you could check out up there. Then make our way to overall interior quality. Power sunroof is actually gonna come standard on this one. Overhead sunglass holder and a black cloth headliner. Also looking down, there are aluminum foot pedals as well. One of the coolest parts about the Forte GT is there is actually a wireless phone charger located directly in front of the shifter and it's kind of got its own shelf. You just set your phone on the top shelf and then you have all your hookups just below that. But I do like that it has its own shelf. It is a rubberized bottom so your phone's not gonna be sliding around up there, but that is so cool that the Forte GT has a wireless phone charger. Again, that's usually like a luxury feature that you find on higher end vehicles, but the Forte GT has got it. So that's pretty cool too. Just below that 12 volt power outlet, auxiliary port, USB charging port, the list goes on there. Just behind the shifter, you have dual cup holders and of course your center armrest, which has another USB charging port in there, illuminated in red. That's pretty cool. Decent amount of space in there, but overall, as far as interior quality goes, it's pretty much as expected. You do have kind of a carbon fiber look on the doors, although it's not authentic carbon fiber, but it does look good. And again, like I said, it's pretty much as expected at this price point. So definitely no complaints from me there. But now let's go ahead and make our way to the tech display, eight inch colored touchscreen display coming standard that includes Bluetooth and audio streaming as well as Android Auto and Apple CarPlay coming standard. Meaning if you have a smartphone, simply hook it up to the Forte GT and you have free navigation up on that screen as well as the ability to like and dislike your Pandora songs. That is definitely a huge plus. Of course, you can check out your radio settings up there as well. And by the way, when it comes to the sound system, standard setup is an eight speaker Harman Kardon sound system with a subwoofer and 320 watts. So do believe you guys know what we have to do next. Let's go ahead and turn on Sirius XM here. Let's see what we got playing this morning and let's test out the clarity of this one. <music> ridiculous amount of bass. I know my camera has good image stabilization technology on it, but dang, if my camera wasn't rumbling there, I would definitely be surprised because that bass almost massaged the seats. That was ridiculous. Plenty of clarity. Harman Kardon always does a good job, so it's pretty much as expected, but well done on that sound system for the Forte GT. Last thing I wanted to mention to you guys, on the tech display at least, is when you do put the Forte GT in reverse, and once again, by the way, to put the Forte GT in reverse, it is kind of that automatic or DCT style shifter. Simply lift up underneath of the shifter, slide it into the upper left hand corner. Once you do that, you will find a rear view camera letting you know who or what is behind you, which is always is going to lead us into safety. And so first, let me start by mentioning the most important thing. The 2020 Kia Forte GT is an IIHS Top Safety Pick Plus, which is the very highest designation given by IIHS. So that pretty much says it all right there. But continuing on, front side side curtain airbags. In the back, you're going to have latch, aka lower anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats. Also back there, rear child door locks. You have a tire pressure monitoring system, but also standard some of the more advanced safety features that come standard here blind spot monitor with rear cross traffic alert, driver attention warning system, forward collision warning, forward collision avoidance assist with pedestrian detection, you have lane keep assist, lane departure warning, and adaptive cruise control as well. That is a ton of standard safety features, which is amazing for the Forte GT price point. And so overall, my final thoughts, you guys, let me just end this video actually with a question for you. And that question essentially being this or the 2020 Honda Civic Si. Si is legendary with superior reliability, of course. Performance wise, the Civic Si edges out a little bit, zero to 60 in 6.6 .6 seconds, as opposed to 
to the 6.7 in the Forte GT, 6.9 in the Elantra Sport. Adaptive damping system also comes standard with the Civic Si. That's a huge plus as well. But then you have to take into consideration the price point as well. The Civic Si goes for $25,000. This kind of starts around $3,000 less. So that may be a huge deciding factor for a lot of people as well. And in addition to that, safety-wise, Forte GT wins. It beats out the Civic Si because the Forte GT is a top safety pick plus, whereas the Civic Si is just a top safety pick. So both are actually pretty good, but the Forte GT does edge out the Civic Si when it comes to that. So all in all, let me know in the comments section what you guys think, which one you would actually pick. Do appreciate you guys watching. Feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen there if you like. Be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're into new car reviews. That's what we do here on this channel after all. Do appreciate you guys watching more than you know, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Stay gold.